bitch. Welcome, Welcome to Horsebit.com. Horsebit.com is America's premier online horse auction. Your, your trusted, trusted source, source for buying top quality horses. <laughs> we are here to make your experience of buying your dream horse safe and simple. Ugh. Are you a new or inexperienced horse rider? Let me present to you Horsebid.com, the world's most trusted place to buy a horse in no way a scam. So just go ahead and throw away all of those trusted, reputable sites like Equine Now and DreamHorse.com. Sounds like you're gonna find the perfect horse for you that is in no way misrepresented on these sites. So in case you guys have been living under a rock over the last couple weeks, I've been pretty much updating everybody on a horse scam situation that I've been dealing with with a friend of mine. We are essentially family at my old barn and I still keep in touch with all of them. And this video has been a long video in the making. I wanna talk about horsebid.com because this really is the absolute sketchiest place to buy a horse and there is nothing legitimate or reputable about this website at all or any other website that is like this. This video really is being put out as just a PSA to the general public as to why you should never do something like this. <laughs> So if you go on horsebid.com's website, from everything that you see, it looks legitimate, right? You look like you're buying from a trusted source. They make it look like they vet all of these sellers that are selling on the website. Horsebid LLC is America's premier online horse auction, your trusted source for buying top quality horses. We are here to make your experience of buying your dream horse safe and simple. Thank you for visiting. Why is visiting capitalized? So how do you buy horses on horsebid.com? Is it really as sketchy as it seems? Yes. How it works, register to bid, and enter live auction. Down below, they also have featured horses. Let's read over exactly how you're going to purchase a horse and their terms of services. So pretty much all this information is just really standard stuff that you would see on auction websites. But down here at the bottom is where it gets really interesting. It says right here, in addition to speaking with the sellers, the prospective buyer have the option to make arrangements with the seller and test ride specified horses before they bid. Buyers cannot test ride horses after you win the auction. It's like, what? Who the fuck is gonna fly 2000 miles to go see a horse and test ride it before they've even bid on the horse? If you're selling horses that are 10 to $20,000, why would you not go ahead and arrange for buyers to actually see these horses in person before the auction dates? And I think it's important to point this out because people who are new into the equestrian world, but people who have money, they're just ignorant, will purchase horses like this believing that this is a trusted site. Which is exactly why a lot of people who buy horses off this website are not test riding the horses ahead of time is because the company guarantees that they are vetting these sellers and every horse is sold the way that it's presented. We only invite proven and trusted sellers to consign horses to the horse bids auction platform. Our trusted sellers represent each horse honestly because we want you to be confident in your horse's purchase. But then down here, it's so funny, it says a limitation of liability. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's so hilarious. Horsebid LLC holds no ownership interest in any horse offered for sale and is not responsible for any liability whatsoever, including but not limited to the loss, injury, death, or illness of any horse, person, or property during or after the sale and the event of a legal dispute between a buyer and owner. Horsebid LLC will occupy the position of agent for disclosed principal and stakeholder and will be just discharged from all obligation upon delivery of any property or funds held to a court having jurisdiction of such a dispute each horse offered in the sale is sold as is and with all defects is that not just the most sketchy thing you've ever read in your life these people on one hand are guaranteeing that they're vetting these sellers and that the horse that you're buying is what's being presented. It's, it's being accurately represented to the public. But then on the other hand, in their terms and conditions, which they know a lot of people are not gonna read, they're literally saying, oh, well, we actually don't really look at these sellers and we're not responsible if they sell you something that's not as is. 
All online displayed horse information errors and announcements, all eligibilities noted within the horse bid auction site have been provided by the owner and have not been verified by horse bid. The accuracy of all information regarding all horses and is the sole responsibility of the owner. While certain information may have been produced by horse bid from third parties on behalf of the owner, it's nonetheless the sole responsibility of the owner to verify the accuracy of such information. Horse bid is not any representative, therefore assumes no responsibility or liability for errors or omissions or any verbal written statement regarding horses sold. Why would you guys put out an ad saying that you vet all the sellers and all the horses are sold accurately? We only invite proven and trusted sellers to consign horses to the Horse Bids Auction platform. Our trusted sellers represent each horse honestly because we want you to be confident in your horse's purchase. You're literally deflecting all blame and responsibility in your terms and conditions so people can't hold you guys liable. Buyers are encouraged to pre-inspect and are cautioned to carefully examine any horse prior to bidding or purchasing. Potential buyers at their expense have the option to have a veterinary examination performed on any horse prior to the close of a bidding. Owner's permission must be obtained prior to any such examination. Buyers cannot have what is known as a pre-sale veterinary exam of any horse after the purchase. Therefore, there is no warranty express or implied by horse bid or any representative as to the soundness, condition, mechanability, or fitness for any particular purpose of any horse offered for sale. Are you kidding me? The fact that they even put this on their website is the shadiest thing ever. This literally screams, I'm going to rip you off and sell you a horse that's completely misrepresented on my website. This is more shady than buying a horse off Craigslist. The seller has every option to deny the pre-purchase exam, which something that I've seen a lot on this website is a lot of sellers actually tell buyers that the horse they're selling has already been vet checked. So that way the buyer doesn't have their own pre-purchase exam done. This is why people should never buy horses without seeing them and without having their own pre-purchase exam done by their own veterinarian on the animal. And if any seller ever tells you that you cannot do a pre-purchase exam on a horse, leave immediately. Hey y'all, it's Molly with horsebid.com. We are giving away a $250 credit on a horse purchase on our website. All you have to do is like and share our page and we'll be randomly selecting a winner. Another thing that I found really interesting is they try to make themselves seem like a really responsible and um, reputable company by buying followers on their social media, especially Facebook. The reason you know this is because this page has over 12,000 followers, but on average they get between zero and a hundred likes on each one of their posts. Some posts do better than others, but they do drastically better than others, which kind of makes me believe that they're buying likes on certain posts to boost them, to get them further up in the algorithm. Now, again, this is just speculation, but it's pretty easy to speculate that they are buying likes and followers because a lot of their posts that they're not buying likes for are not getting any traction at all. And the biggest reason I suspect this is because there are multiple reviews, especially on Google and their app on the App Store. A lot of people are calling this company out for being a horse mill, meaning that they are faking the sale of a lot of these horses to make the site look more legitimate and make it look like they're actually selling horses. A lot of people talk about a horse will sell on the website and then be placed back up on the website just a couple months later. I mean, normal horse people are not going to spend 10 plus thousand dollars on a horse that they've never seen. So it's pretty obvious that they're not really selling horses except to people that are new horse people who are gullible and vulnerable, which is the biggest reason I'm making this video is to prevent those people from buying off this website. And it's not just to horsebid.com, but really any auction website or buying a horse online, never buy horses sight unseen. 
oftentimes it's going to end very badly for you and you're probably gonna get scammed. Now, there are a lot of people who do buy horses sight unseen, but they buy horses sight unseen from reputable people within the industry that they know personally. Now, you guys might be saying, well, all of these buyers kind of get what they deserve because they're ignorant and they're choosing to buy horses from a website that's really sketchy. Well, here's the thing. Two things can be wrong at once. Yes, it's wrong for these buyers to be buying horses off a website sight unseen where it's obviously sketchy without doing pre-purchase exams or riding or seeing the horses and just trusting this website. But it's also wrong for this website to be taking advantage of people like that, knowing that a lot of these people don't know the process of buying a horse and how many scammers there are out there. So going back a couple weeks ago to exactly what happened with my friend and how I became aware of this company and the reason I frankly hate this company so much. Now I am personally involved in this situation so I take this to heart. I was not involved with the purchasing of this and I had no idea that they were buying a horse off this website otherwise I would have said something but I became aware of it shortly after the decision was made because they were very upset very quickly after learning that they had just been scammed. So a friend at my barn who is a new equestrian, and I want to state that because she is the exact customer that this website is targeting, somebody who's a new equestrian who's ignorant and who doesn't really know anything because she's naive. She is a new rider and she essentially did several months of horse searching while she was looking for a horse of her own. I think she just got tired of the process because she had spent several months trying to find a horse and just couldn't really find anything that was a good fit for her and she had traveled from you know state to state to state looking for good horses. She stumbled upon horsebid.com and actually found a horse that she really liked. The reason she essentially bought a horse off the website is because she felt like they were a trusted source and that they were vetting all these sellers, as they said, and that all of these horses were being sold in the condition that the company and the website was representing them as, which is what they say. And the horse looked great. It was exactly what she was looking for. She did contact the seller and the seller said, no worries, please don't do a pre-purchase exam because I already had one done. He's already been looked over by the vet. The vet cleared him, whatever. So she ends up bidding $14,000 to win this horse. Mind you, on the website, it says that the horse is a Gypsy Vanner Draft Cross. And it also said that the horse was, I believe, six or seven years old. They also said the horse had tons of training under its belt, that this horse was in immaculate condition. So she ends up winning the auction and she pays $1,500 to have the horse picked up by a hauler and have it shipped out to California, which is where our boarding facility is. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. So the hauler showed up to pick up the horse and noted that the horse was very skinny, that the horse had a massive wound on the side of his face that was not at all disclosed in the ads, that the horse did not have any papers at all. He was not registered. There was no proof of what his breed was. He had no DNA testing done. So this horse was essentially grayed and they have no idea what breed he actually is. The hauler then relayed the information to my friend who had already paid for this horse mind you. This was when I was made aware of the situation that was happening, was once the hauler contacted my friend and said, hey, listen, uh, this horse is not as advertised. So essentially she said, well, I already bought the horse, so the horse had already been in transport. We decided that the horse was going to immediately be taken to our equine hospital in Norco, California, which he was. And it was determined that the horse was well over 10 years old, between 10 and 15, I believe, was the assessment. The wound on his face is cancerous and therefore would need a biopsy done. And they also determined he was lame on his front right. They also determined that he was underweight. Basically, when this horse got off the trailer in Norco, I think 
everyone was completely shocked and everyone's jaws hit the floor. Realizing what this horse was advertised as versus how he ended up showing up. People who are selling horses on this website are clearly not posting accurate photos or videos, which is indicative of people who own these horses for a significant period of time and just cycle them through this website, these auction sites, and the horse actually never gets purchased by someone, so they keep cycling them through the auction sites until the horse does get purchased, which is why a lot of these photos and videos are of these horses way before they actually end up finding a real buyer. So we honestly estimate that these photos and videos that were taken of this horse to help sell him were definitely taken six plus months ago, especially because he had a massive wound on his face, which is not something that just comes up overnight. Not to mention that he had lost a significant amount of weight and it was pretty clear that this horse had not been handled much at all for like six months. Kenna Hartzell, this bitch, okay, she sold a grade horse that was a completely different age than she advertised under complete false pretenses, saying the horse actually had a vet check done and was completely fine, had no issues. She sold the horse under photos that look like this, knowing that the horse had a massive wound on his face and was lame and underweight. Horsebid.com is responsible for this. They posted several videos saying that they vet their sellers and that the people buying on their website have nothing to worry about. Honestly, I would have paid no more than $1,000 for this horse, and the girl selling the horse absolutely knew what she was doing. Kenna Hartzell owns Twisted M Equine based out of Texas. No one buy horses from this chick. She is 150% misrepresenting the horses that she's selling. But Horsebid.com, being the shady website that they are, completely doubled down. The only thing that they said was that they would offer a full refund as long as we sent the horse back to somebody who completely mistreated the animal and threw it out in a pasture and made it lose hundreds of pounds and become lame and have a sore on its face. And they weren't gonna refund the $600 so far vet bill and they weren't going to refund the hauling fee. So essentially horsebid.com said, go f yourself. You need to send a horse back to the person who neglected it. So obviously my friend did not send the horse back. She ended up keeping him and she's paying for all of his vet care, which is thousands of dollars. And she's basically paying for training and everything because this horse has almost no training at all, which makes me believe that he was probably drugged in the videos of them riding him, maybe Ace Promazine or whatever. That's just speculation, that's just my opinion. Not only did they not offer to give back some sort of compensation for scamming my friend, I mean, they should have at least refunded half the money that she paid for this horse that this horse was not worth even a fraction of. But they should have immediately, if they were a reputable website, cut ties with the seller, Kenna Hartzell. They should have absolutely cut ties with somebody who they knew was intentionally misrepresenting horses and scamming people. But did they? No, they absolutely didn't. And you know why? Because I guarantee you the majority of people selling horses on this website are just like Kenna. They are posting misleading photos of animals on the site, which is exactly why horsebid.com claims zero responsibility for how these horses end up looking when you pick them up with your trailer. So I'm currently on horsebid.com, right? So this is a horse, again, here we go, sold by Kenna Hardsoul right here same seller that I specifically told them to not work with, Kenna Hartzell is selling a horse currently for 20 plus thousand dollars on this website. And the reserve is not met yet, meaning she's wanting to get more money for the horse than just that. I became very suspicious of this 
horse ad and you go to the photo of the horse's actual registration papers right down here at the bottom it says current owner kathleen monaco park rapids minnesota on dreamhorse.com this is the exact same horse right and if you click on the video it's the same video that's on horsebid.com so down here, it says that the horse is still currently for sale. There's 91 days remaining on this ad, okay? The horse's current location is Howell, Michigan. Again, this is the exact same horse, the exact same registry number, but oh, guess what? Over here, the sellers are asking for $45,000, not $20,250 like Kenna is asking. They also have the seller name down below as Joe Gooden now. Again, I'm not saying that this horse is not with Kenna. She could have this horse, but the fact that this horse has been put up on multiple sites as being owned by different people, living in different locations, who's to say who is actually telling the truth here? If the horse really was being put up at auction, why would the horse also be for sale on dreamhorse.com for double the price? So I guess the point that I want to leave everybody with is never, ever, ever buy horses sight unseen. Never buy horses from online auctions. Never buy horses without pre-purchase exams, without seeing them first. Never buy horses from horsebid.com and never buy horses from Twisted M Equine or Kenna Hartzell. Unless you want to spend $14,000 on a horse with no papers, no training, and serious injuries that could last for the rest of their life. So thanks so much for watching this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my breakdown of horsebid.com and really just any horse auction site in general. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the nasty letters and the uh, legal threats that I'm going to be getting in the mail from these people. Making this video is honestly just the cherry on the top for me. I've been wanting to drag these people for quite a while, but I've been holding out for my friends for the legal process that they're enduring at the moment. But I finally got the clear to make this video, so it was a long time coming. I've, I've definitely been holding my tongue for quite a bit because, trust me, it was absolutely shocking to see this horse arrive at our facility that my friend had paid $14,000 for. Woo! So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe and comment your thoughts down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!